Welcome to uh, our video walk around and brief test drive out here in Carnation. Uh, this is one of our fairly recent uh, acquisitions here to our inventory. It's a very, very nice 1964 Rambler 440 American or American 440 hardtop. Uh, great car. This car has wonderful bones, as they say. It's extremely low rust, great dry climate, eastern Washington car, very, very dry car. Um, owned for many years by an enthusiast and uh, driven actually uh, hundreds of miles across the mountains from up in the hills, eastern Washington, over to Seattle to visit uh, folks. So that's a little bit of history in the car. So uh, our website's going to have a lot of photos, going to detail some of the work that's been done to the car, some of the options. Of course, it has the 440 trim package, which the feature of that uh, certainly has got to be uh, this crazy red and white factory um, striped uh, uh, color scheme that came factory with the car. Very, very unusual that uh, both the vinyl seat cover is kind of a dark red and white and the door panels. We can see we have uh, uh, restoration by duct tape here. Somebody in, uh, has put in some red duct tape. We actually added a little bit. Some of the stuffing was coming out of the seats. So we're going to do a brief video walk around. The photos I think covered this car really well. It's got amazing bones. It's very dry, very straight. The owner was pointing out probably the worst dent on the car is right here on the back. You can see some little bit of imperfections right along here. You can see that's a little bit of a dent along there. Just That's about the worst of it. Uh, it does have those old plates on it there. The Rambler 440 American was the trim package. Uh, some things that the owner did, a very much enthusiast, were some uh, new um, wide white wall uh, tires here. Uh, fairly brand new. It's got the factory hubcaps. Uh, we are missing the little 440 hood emblem. We are going to either take a little bit off or we'll actually try to order that and get that ready here. Great looking car. We're going we're gonna to fire it up in a minute. Uh, we're just going to put the camera down again. some photographs underneath. We'll see if the camera can handle the low light. I know a lot of people are concerned about rust in these cars. So we'll just kind of get a view underneath the car. I'm not sure if this is really going to turn out. But uh, like I said, overall it's very good. It has, uh, we believe, one repaint from new. And that is uh, black. Again, very nice. What appear to be the original carpets are exceptional. Really good. Uh, again, there's been some just cleaning up of the seats to make them uh, a little bit better. But it's got the Rambler 440 dash, door panels. Uh, the previous owner told us he had a source for this here in the Northwest. Uh, fairly reasonable price to get uh, the seat covers that are factory sewn. So it shows uh, 96,707 miles. Uh, this car is a nice option. That is the overdrive uh, on the three-speed on the tree with overdrive, I believe, in all the, all the three driving gears. Um, kind of a nice option. Yeah, I guess he claims 35 miles per gallon driving over the mountains and making that several hundred mile commute. So uh, again, you'll see evidence of the 440 trim package, nice chrome detailing or stainless, whatever it is. Uh, this car probably deserves to have a new uh, set of seat covers put in the car. Original carpets look exceptional. Um, the other thing we have is the claim to be factory radio delete plate. Um, but we also have in the car, uh, in the trunk, the owner has a, he ordered a, I believe it's a rebuilt, uh, correct radio and I just put it away in the box but it's a really nice looking radio there's the speaker a bunch of extra tune-up parts for this car and we have this great looking radio with uh, operating manual almost looks like a new old stock radio it's just exceptional so that is an AM FM or AM Rambler radio uh, that would normally come with this car the owner liked the radio delete, so it's American Motors radio with uh, again, a nice little piece if you wanted to add that in. Uh, the radio delete, some new rubber, um, nice replacement tire. The car is really, really nice. We noticed this deck lid probably was replaced because it's a different color. Um, little story there, we're not quite sure. We, th we think it's a factory black car because we're seeing black everywhere. Uh, we're seeing this deck lid in a nice metallic green, so that's an unusual story. We don't know quite what that's about. So there's a bit of mystery, a bit of tr trim in there. And uh, now we're going to do the hard part. We're going to, well, we'll go uh, start the car up and 
we will go ahead and uh, get this car running. Try to do these videos since I don't have any editing capabilities right now and do this in one shot. Okay, so starts right up. Um, let's see if I can figure out the uh, hood latch here. Put that down for a minute. There's the inline six American Motors engine. We have the VIN number B77467. Claim to get really good gas mileage. Probably got a little single carburetor. It runs out really well. Notice the hood is black, it's original paint, so I guess that deck lid was probably replaced. Definitely needs some detail and it's very straight. Don't see any evidence of uh, any evidence of accident damage. Okay, now's the fun part. We're gonna drive this thing around with one hand. See what we can do. So we'll uh, park that right up there while we get our safety belt on. So again, a great driving car. Really came in, it's just a really nice car. Really didn't have to do much at all to it. Um, drives out well. It's a three-speed on the, on the tree with overdrive on the top, I believe on all three gears. Um, pulls away really nice. Nice gearing to get you uh, on the highway and turning ratio is what you'd expect of a mid-sized car from the early mid-60s. And let's see if we can do a nice safe test drive here. So you're up to uh, all 20 miles an hour in a little park here in Carnation, Washington, a little uh, rural community about 30 miles east of Seattle. And that's the location for Giordano's Vintage Motors. We're at 451 Told Avenue, downtown Carnation. Indoor car dealership, we have uh, classic American, not too many full classics, but uh, we do have a lot of uh, European touring and sports cars, American muscle cars, and cars like this, which are just iconic, interesting American mid-sized cars that are now just being sought after. Really attractive black with the red dash. Um, really cool looking, so uh, kind of do a little speed up a little bit. It's got pretty good power. Test the brakes out. Stop this thing. They are drum brakes, so they uh, definitely are maybe not as efficient as a, uh, a disc brake system, but that's what came in this car. Uh, steering feels a little vague, but it's not bad. Very, very light steering. I think this must have a power steering car. Um, previous owner did a lot of tune-up, a lot of work on this car just to keep it running and, and improve it a little bit in his ownership of the car. And uh, Incarnation, you can see some of the stuff detail of the there's the overdrive. So we're in the middle of summer here on a July, what is it, the 15th today? So we're having a nice almost 90 degree day in Carnation. The car seems to really do well in the warm temperature. We're gonna go into uh, second gear there and shift it very well. Got a nice sound to it with that little uh, inline six. I really love the sound of those cars. Again, very simple dash layout. And the car drives very nice. Um, really reliable car. Claimed to be a car the owner would drive long distances in. And got very good gas mileage and just a very sweet little car. So we're gonna. For the sake of safety, we're going to park this baby, and uh, we're pulling in here to Vintage Motors. As always, uh, see our complete inventory at www.giocars.com. Uh, call Jim at 425-985-4259, and uh, we'll talk to you later.